Aloha, homies. <coughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is XNAFO, and welcome back to Lisa the Painful. In the last episode, we made it to the Beehive, the gang of male strippers, and became said stripper in order to recruit... Queen who I wish was a much better party member because he has such an awesome personality. In this episode, we are going to continue exploring Area 2. Again, because this area is huge! And I honestly don't know where I want to go next, because there's a lot, I have a lot of options. Never mind, I know exactly where I want to go next. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, I know what I want to do next. Alright, so we're going to go here and use some of our TNT on this. And explore this little cavern. Okay, so it's pretty average looking at first. If you go over here, there's nothing except in this door. Hello, friend. I don't get many visitors. Not a lot of people appreciate art these days. You thought it was hard to make a living off of art in the past? I tell ya, it's a whole nother story now. <laughs> so now I make a living drawing dirty pictures. I can't complain. It would be easier if I had some references. You got any dirty magazines? Say, a hundred and fifty? I respect the arts here, but I don't have enough, so unfortunately I have to say you're a waste to society. <laughs> oh wait, no, I have plenty enough, but I, I do So Garth is another recruitable party member. He's very much so a support character who focuses on buffs and debuffs on the enemy team on you and on your team by showing them pornography he can be pretty cool some of his skills are bu one of his skills are bugged and doesn't work correctly but yeah, he could be a pretty neat party member his main drawback is that he doesn't really have any way of dealing good damage unlike other support members who can at least do like even terry could deal some good damage and is able to deal amazing damage at the end of the game but our good friend Garth doesn't really have that luxury. I love his design though. His mask is like super emotive. <laughs> hey, the new member! Ha 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 ha! This is finally the end for you, Rangers. Today you will die by the hands of Demon X! So strong! Rangers, what are we going to do? Well, I guess we can help. Oh no, carp suffering joy withdrawal. Oh, that sucks. party was defeated. <sighs> There's no hope left. This is the end. Wait. I, I think I have a plan, but it will require me to go deep into the darkness of my past. I don't know if I can do it. You have to, Black. It's our only, it's our last hope. You're right. Here I go. It was a hot summer's day. Back then I was a bit size challenged. I had to take frequent breaks from too much movement. Anyways, I was walking home from the market to see my papa. I was really excited to get home and see him. As I was walking to papa's house, I got stuck in the door frame. <laughs> This was truly a new low for me. My weight had become a real problem, but getting stuck in that door was nothing to care compared to what was happening inside the house. Dance boy. Woo! 
You my new son. You my new thin hip son. Dance for daddy boy. Make papa proud, son. It wasn't what I saw that hurt the most. It was the face that they didn't it was the fact that they didn't notice me stuck there for two weeks. <laughs> Black, I don't understand how that story was helpful to us. Red, his horns. If we retreat into this cave back here, we th he can't catch us. By God, you're right! Hey, Demon X! Yes? More like Dumb X! Hey! Salvation Rangers, retreat to the cave! Try and catch us, idiot! I'll get you, Rangers! Son of a witch! <laughs> <laughs> I never ever saw this joke. <laughs> this joke, I never I never found Dick on my first playthrough, so I never got this far in the Salvation Rangers plotline. <laughs> I knew that Demon X is an unkillable enemy unless you, like, poison stall him. Because he has... 9999999 HP. <laughs> and that much attack power, the highest... He's the strongest enemy in the game, and he's designed to be unkillable. But you can kill him if you poison stall him. And manage to get lucky enough to not get hit on that first attack. Alright. But... <laughs> I didn't know what happened after, and it's pretty funny. I don't think the guys like me. Ironically, all this reflection is making me want to eat again. Life is so cruel. I've been feeling weird lately, having violent, intimate thoughts. Demon X, Demon X totally stole my pose. <laughs> oh, he just says nothing. Justice always comes out on top, even when the chips are down. We always work hard and never give Rangers. <gasps> Holy crap! Salvation Rangers! Oh! My name's not Dumb and X. Who's the real bad guy here? Jerks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a misplaced text box. Why is it over there? Huh. Weird. Alright, so even though I'm at 1 HP, I'm not going to rest here. I'm going to go back somewhere else. But first, I'm going to go ahead and grab the perfume supply that is here. It's a crude statue with the name Tia carved into it. Hmm. Interesting. Also... Shout out to the song. It takes that one part from the first battle theme and like makes it into its own. De it's called Desert Stroll and it's beautiful. This is the wrong location. Alright, so let's see how we can find our way down to that little area over there. Hmm, it seems if we... Okay, that's pretty easy. Alright, so if we go over here, then up this rope, then across this, down, down, pick up the cigarette, and then up here, we'll end up in here, and we can get the duffel bag. This is the item you need to return to RT. However, since I won't be using RT, I might be able to sell this thing. Hoo hoo hoo. 
By the way, something I probably should mention for sure, you get eight, you get a good, decent bit of TNT, I think six, and then you'll get like a, a couple extra fr from going back right in front of that location near where you did the bad thing of rumming people over with a bulldozer. The amount you need to progress is three. The rest can be used as battle items. So now, let's go to the only place left to go inside the desert area. This little section right here. Welcome to the desert town. Where there's a nice little hole over there that we're going to check out in a bit. We can change our gang up if we want. Okay, let me see if I can find what I'm looking for. It's not in here. Oh, this place is interesting. So we got another bar that doesn't really sell anything that interesting. But here... Hey, holes. Straight up, no story. No gimmicks. 500 mags and I'm yours. Clint Olympic. This man ha is all looks. Many consider him the most handsome man left on Earth. His strength is equal to his beauty. You do the math on that. You're too handsome for me. I understand. <laughs> so Clint Olympic is the last of the dial combo characters we can find in the game. There was Bo, who isn't really a dial combo character because his dial combos are worse. There's Ray. Actually, no, there's one more. I just forgot. There's Rage, there's Clint, and then there's one more after Clint. Th Clint Olympic is by far the hardest character to get in the game. 500 mags is not easy. The only way this is easy is if you do that roulette game, because that game gives you, like, the Russian roulette game, that gives you so much money. But, for now, yeah, I say we just, uh, not do him. Because he's not, he's only, he's just a better, he's just a worse version of Brad, really. He does a lot of the same things Brad does, ex except his attack power isn't even that as high as Brad's to make up for it, so it doesn't even make sense. All right. So, alright, so we got a lot of money, so I say we head over to the shop and see what we can pick up for people, because this shop is nice. We can get some better items here. Here we can get the Blood Bow for Olin, which is a bow that not only will increase his attack power, but it's also going to make him deal, like, <laughs> how much extra damage? I don't even know. It's like... <laughs> 17 extra damage, plus it'll make it so that he can bleed opponents. I still want to keep the smoky bow as well, because that's really good. But dang, if that's not re if that's if that's not an attack upgrade. Yeah, we don't really have anybody who's capable of blinding, so the smoky bow can still be useful. But also, I'd rather have that attack power up, definitely. Sharpened curtain rod? Okay, yeah, but you guys, you can see, there's a lot of things here that we can get. The Tuesday morning we can get for Harvey instead of the Pistoler. I don't think that's that worth it, considering how expensive that is. This is not is a very big upgrade, but since Carp uses special attack, it probably won't matter that much. Like it probably it probably will increase special attack by a bit, so that could still be a power upgrade. But it's probably more of a physical upgrade than a hmm, what do I want to spend here? Okay. What I definitely want are a pair of cotton wristbands, because these are really good, and the blood bow. I think I'll save the rest of my money for now. Yeah, that sounds about right. Equipment. I didn't mind. Oh, shoot. When did he lose his sunscreen? Where did all that get taken off of him? That's strange. Oh, that increases agility, too. That's very good. Yeah, I'll give the blood bow on. Alright, um, for... We didn't get you anything better. We can sell some stuff here, though. Let's see what we can sell. Jeez, that's a huge attack upgrade for Brad on those cotton wristbands. That's gonna make Brad into a heck of good character. Alright, let's go ahead and sell the other wristbands we have. With this, I might be buying something extra, too. Do I want to buy the Tuesday more? That's a lot of blades, but also it's good. The money, but that's also just good. Am 
might, even though the rusty knife poisons, it might be worth it just to... Mags are going up by quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, I think it's worth it to try and getting the switchblade. And a Tuesday morning. Increases special attack. Does give him an agility boost, though. I think I'd much rather have the ability to poison, honestly. I'm not gonna sell it just because I did just buy it. I can imagine the, that boost to agility might be good enough that I might want to equip this newer switchblade. All right. So now that we have all this cool stuff, let's go ahead and go down here. Let's fight you. Hey man, I saw you looking at me earlier. You think this is fruity? This is fabulous, dig it! Alright, this is Gavin Davidson. <laughs> I don't understand this name whatsoever, but okay. Alright, so we're going to... Head slide. That always seems to do well. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and try and... Let's make him pissed. Why not? And then let's try to poison. Oh, that attack increase is nice! I messed that up. That's not the correct input. Let's hide him, and we... I just realized I haven't been talking for this fight. I've been fo... <laughs> Wait, let's go ahead and try out soaking. That might cure his thing. We haven't actually used it before, and I'm pretty sure it'll cure that little issue we got there. Head slide! I bet you think you're real freaking cool! Huh, no victory theme. And we get the studded bands, which aren't nearly as good as those cotton bands, I believe, but we can sell them. Yeah, they drop agility. They have almost the same amount of attack power, but they also drop agility by a fair bit, and I don't want to do that. Thomas, you're really breaking our image by crying. Come on. You killed him! What a jerk move! <laughs> oh god. He attacked me, bro! I'm sorry, man! Alright, let me go ahead and sell those studded bands. 25 mags! A. Alright, let's get going. This is a real fantastic neighborhood. I know, and bro, it's not even midnight. Fantastic neighborhood. <laughs> let's go ahead and get this bottle down here. And let's go in here. Frick you Monday mornings! Frick you Tuesday afternoons! Who even knows what day it is? <laughs> ah, the dialogue in this game is just... Mwah. Magnifico. Oh. Hi. Oh, oh this? You thought I was going to hit you? I'm just trying to strengthen my triceps. This bat's heavy. 
<laughs> like I said, beautiful, beautiful dialogue. Like, how do you even, like, explain how good that dialogue is? Well. Hmm, at last. Someone free of the joy's grip. It's so hard to stay true to any sort of morals or ethics here. Everyone's really let go. It's painful to watch. I can't be here anymore. I want to come with you. Ajit Mandeep. This man is almost as big... This man's heart is almost as big as his finger. As big as he is. A true wizard with his fingers, Ajit is a force to be reckoned with. You may join. Ajit Mandeep is a personal favorite party member and... I was the character I was considering using on the team. He doesn't have a normal attack. Instead, he you he he without the, the only w the way he way move he, type of moves he can use without consuming SP are his, are his Panan Pun Punjabi pokes. These have a super high chance of inflicting the following status conditions: blinding, burning, weirdness, and wariness. Ajit, I think, is the only party member in the game that can inflict wariness, which is a status effect that wo lowers your opponent's defense for the entire battle by uh, 70%, unless they manage to cure it somehow. They can't, it doesn't wear off. For that reason, Ajit is probably one of the best status inflictors in the entire game. Dude, how good all the blinding is super good, weirdness is great, lowers bo attack and defense, both by a decent bit. Burning is obviously good. And then for his, but he also has skills and powers. Ajit is a is also a mixed attacker. He can use the rocket piercer and rocket skewer are two very strong physical attacks. Space hammer is an even stronger one, but it tends to miss, so that's your risk move. And then for finger beam, you can use his special attack, and he will get various versions of these moves and others leveling up. The only downside to using Ajit is that his moves are get super expensive super fast and his sp is very low so he's a very powerful character that needs a lot of sp management in order to work try it if you think you're with the amount of diet coca-colas we have we're pro we probably would be fine using him just keep in mind you will have to sink a lot of sp healing items into this guy unless you want to go heal yourself every 10 seconds all right so i think that's all of the no, not all of them. Not all of them. I'm pretty sure... Did I ever go... I don't think I went up here. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't go up here. What's in here? Oh, this guy. Can't you see I'm staring at a wall? <laughs> Iori Stevens, time to take you down. I love this. Okay, let's see. Can he stun? Okay, no stun, unfortunately. Whoa! He's scared? That's cool. That's very cool. I am very cool with this. Alright, let's go ahead and just hit him with our multi-hit move combo. So let's go with Olin. You can... As a head slide to get oh that's a lot of damage holy cow <laughs> wow <laughs> jeez our team damage is great dang all right let's see how much of a boost those stats actually are now that agility boost is nice that agility boost is very nice Honestly, the poison hasn't really been working. I need to look something up. Hold up, give me a sec. Alright, so I just did a little bit of lo looking up stuff. And I found, and I was wondering, why is it that even though I have this poison rusty knife equipped, why is it not causing poison any of the times I'm attempting to using it? And... I guess it's it's just mostly because the poison is such a good status effect that they couldn't make it super easy to just poison any enemy. 
Rusty Knife has a 50% chance of poisoning, which is pretty good. And so does Olin's technique, Poison Arrow. Then Carp's skill, the Poison Mist, has a 60% chance of poisoning without the benefit of being able to, you know, equip it. Uh, without the benefit of being able to do damage. So yeah, it, it's, it's still very worth it to keep that rusty knife. But I will have the switchblade just in case I want to switch to it. The rusty knife definitely, it's slightly lower chance, but I'm able to deal a bit of damage while also having a nice decent ch chance. It's nice. I pr I'm there. If I find something that boosts Carp's special attack though, yeah, a knife that, if a knife manages to do that, then, then I'll probably replace the rusty knife with it, because it's better for him to deal more damage than to have that little rusty knife thing. Alright, so now we got to do the hard knock life little moment. I missed it! I should have checked! Oh no, I have to do all that progress over again! Alright, I'll, I'll be back with you guys. Okay, so this guy is all like, that guy is a corn in the corner is a serious jerk. Poo hoo hoo. So he's all crying. Then we beat this guy. Dude, our team though! We just be- Oh my gosh, our team's damage output is insane! Holy cow, I feel so accomplished. And then, so then we go over here, and it's a lot- You killed him, what a jerk- So is this guy just a constantly crying judgmental person who has so many issues that he has to constantly cry about what other people are doing? What the heck, man? I just remembered something! Ajit's equipment. He comes with some serious firepower. AKA really good. He has some of the best equipment we can get at this point. And remember, and here's the thing about this guy. You can't get him if you've been taking if you've been taking joy. However, it doesn't quite work like it's supposed to work like if you've taken two or more joy during the entire game, he won't join your party. However, for some reason, it, he only won't join your party if you've taken two joy. So, yeah. It's weird. Alright, let's see. Do any of you guys able to wear? Doesn't seem like it. Ah. But somebody's gonna have the bad butt belt buckle. This mother fricker keeps those freaking pants secure as frick. Alright, who's getting this? Who, who could probably benefit from this the most? But lower special attack and luck by a decent bit, but make Brad into a highly defensive tank. Hmm, whoever I give this to. Alright, what? I give it to him and increase his defense by a lot. That's good. Hmm. His defense. You know, honestly, he could use some extra defense. You could use some extra defense, my friend. Like, 42 versus 75? Mmm. It'll lower his agility a, a, a bit, but like... Yeah, you, with your high HP stat, you probably need defense the most. Yeah. That'll balance out Harvey's pretty poor defense stat. Hey! Yeah, that's the only bad side about Harvey. We haven't been finding a lot of equipment for him or Carp from the defensive point. <laughs> since they're kind of strange looking characters, so it's kind of hard to equip them in that sense. And now I can replace the stench with the old stock and he'll still be stench up because the old stock is stinky. All right, I also remembered I forgot to go in this room. You one ugly mother fricker. I've been standing here trying to make this shot forever and I will continue to do so till I die. I just can't let this guy win. I just can't. 
<laughs> I know that feeling. When somebody talks big game and they're really good and you want to show them a lesson, but the, but it's really hard, so you have to, like, alter focus. Alright. So what I'm gonna do is head right here, get off my bike, and stop straight down to take 500 damage on the team. That sucks. What I Luckily, we got some mystery jerky so we can heal everybody up. Um, you, you, and you. There we go. Much better looking all around. So that healed, like, more than half of the damage dealt. So now probably everyone's only missing 200 HP, which I can deal with. Anyway, so what we're going to want to do is that if we head up here... Also, I, d I ended up not buying those new weapons for Harvey and Carp because Harvey's a special attacker and that and so is Carp and neither of them really needed those buffs. So, yeah. All right, but if we talk to this guy, <laughs> nice hair. Oh wait, you don't have any. <laughs> Say, you need anything? This guy sells fancy perfume. The only real downside is that every single time you want to buy some from this guy, you're going to have to take that 500 damage to get here, but it is totally worth it. Fancy Perfume is a full ally heal. Take a lot of this stuff. You will highly benefit from it. Also, he sells horse jerky. Dried meat of, of a horse recovers all HP. He also sells lucrative teal and whiskey. Not that big a deal, but these two items are incredibly hard to get otherwise from here. So while you're here, just buy as many as you can, honestly. It's worth it. Yeah, I think, so yeah, I'm kind of glad it, you know, you're not so bad. I haven't had any company in a while ever since my wife let me, it sucks. I just wish I had something to remind me of her. Hmm, that sounds like a side quest that I've never done before and don't know how to finish, so I'll have to look it up. <laughs> All right, so if we go in here, we'll find another dojo. Welcome. I am Knight Chris, and this is the Kicks for Christ Dojo. And I'm too freaking cool to pose. <laughs> Would you like to learn my magical technique? I, it will kick your arse. Okay, cool. First, a test. You must defeat the greatest karate opponent ever created. The Grassroots Chop Majin! Piloted by my cousin Alfonso. Show him, Al! Ah, gosh darn it! Listen to this music! It is cold! I forget, but it has the name Devil in it. This fight is no joke. We are going to need to go all out on this. So let's go. So as you saw, the poison there did a thousand and six hundred something HP to him. This guy's got a lot of health. Over a hundred thousand based off of that amount right there. So this is going to be a fight for our lives. And I'm all in for it. Let's go. So I didn't manage to make him fall. Who would be the best character to throw a bottle at him? I'm gonna see if he's weak to fire, WSS. Have we tried Fireball 3? I'm actually not sure. Well, I'll have you throw the Fireball. Actually, no, we could just straight up do a TNT. Let's TNT this son of a gun. Hmm. Yeah, let, let's keep going with that, and then you can Fever River, and let's go. Yeah! 
Ah, uh, there's the confusion gone. Oh, that's a lot of damage! And he's burning. Nice. Alright, let's do Fireball 3. Pretty nice damage. Unfortunately, there goes the burning. But we got poison. It's okay. And bleed. Oh! Oh yeah, we have poison and bleed. So he probably doesn't have quite that much HP as I thought. Because they're stacking on each other. Alright, rapid arrow time. You can... Actually, considering your condition, let's go ahead and try and piss you off. That should help a lot. And then Fever River once more. Oh, it missed. Oh, that crit! Heck yeah! Hit him hard, hit him good! There's what I wanted. Alright, and now he's got so many status conditions on him, he's getting shut down. Let's see if we can reinforce the bleed with a loose. Maybe this guy will take more damage from Hectic Waver. Let's try that. Oops! Oh! Well, that was easier than I expected. <laughs> Dang! We did good, but look at that experience, baby! And Carp has finally learned Wrist Slash! Beedalee boop beep boo loo! Gloop. <laughs> Sorry, Genki. Well, guess you're pretty strong. You got a karate scroll. Make sure you read it. Heck yeah, baby. So this, so let's go ahead and look over the new stuff we just got. This, the Christ style scroll, increases attack power straight on Brad. Let's go ahead and see how much attack he's got now. 96! Like a 15 attack increase. And our special attack went up a, like a decent bit too. That is amazing! Alright. Nice. As for the new skill on our boy Carp, Wrist Slash is a lower damage move that decreases enemy attack and special attack. There aren't really any moves that do this. There are characters who have status conditions that lower st stats, but Carp is the only one who straight up directly low is one of the few characters, I th maybe even the only character in the game who can straight up lower a character's stats directly. And, you know, maybe Garth can do that too without it being like a status condition. And here's the thing. He can do it more than once. He if he sp and <laughs> We have a character who can piss off enemies and force them to do nothing but attack us. So if we just keep lowering their attack stat while we'll keep making them pissed, they'll eventually just not be able to do any significant damage to us. It's ridiculously overpowered, and this is the other main reason I decided to go with Carp. Alright. Now, with all of that... I think it's pretty good for us to call t an e today's episode here. Because we explored this whole desert area, found out everything it's got. Well, now we have, because we got this. I guess there's that side quest we can do later, but we'll look into that when we get there. We've gotten some attack buffs. We've gotten everyone some... For we've gotten two of our party members brand new weapons that are way better than before. And we've learned some new moves, a new move on Carp that's going to make things way easier. Plus, we now have a much better supply of healing items. So, next time on Lisa the Painful, we'll explore another area in Area 2. Because I honestly don't, once again, don't know where I'm going next, because this area is so huge and I don't remember where everything is. See you guys then.